Hey everyone and welcome to this week's Act of Worship. Today we are looking at part two of our respect theme and first we're going to watch a short animated video. Hope you enjoy. God our Father, we know that we have much to learn from other people who all reflect your image and likeness in different ways. Inspire us to respect others fully as our equals, seeing and loving in others what you see and loving them. Amen. Hi everybody, Mr. Walker here. Hope you're doing okay and uh, you've had a good start to your week and you've been enjoying this Act of Worship so far. Right, so this theme um, for today's Act of Worship is respect. Now I want to ask you, who do you respect? Who do you respect? Um, me, for me, myself, I have a lot of respect for people um, out there in the world who have done really great things. For example, Martin Luther King, um, Red Thunberg, but even people um, who I surround myself with. So some of my close friends, I have a lot of respect for, for what they do. We've all um, heard that term, respect others and you will get respect. I will respect you, but you need to um, respect me. Now, I'm thinking a bit about Jesus um, when I'm thinking about respect. And Jesus, when talking to his disciples, he was telling them um, what the greatest commandments were. Um, commandments are basically laws um, or rules, etc. And one of them was, the first one Jesus said was to love the Lord your God um, with all your heart, mind and soul. Um, and then um, the second um, commandment he said, greatest commandment was love your neighbour. Now when I think of love your neighbour, at first you might think, oh, just um, the person next, that literally my neighbour next door. But no, Jesus was talking, when Jesus said neighbour, he was talking about um, everybody, he was talking about a lot of people, basically the whole world um, can be your neighbour. And, and in this, I think Jesus was saying um, that we need to show respect for others, uh, even if we don't think they deserve respect, because if we think that the, the whole world is our neighbour, there might be people in the world that um, we're not really fond of, we don't, um, we think, don't like what they're doing, um, but Jesus um, tells us to love our neighbour, so let's show respect for people, even if we don't, <laughs> we don't think um, they deserve it. 
There's another story in the Bible, um, what Jesus uh, said. It was a parable, and it's the parable of um, the Good Samaritan. Um, now, a Samaritan um, was just a, a person who lived um, in Israel. Um, it was a type of a group of people. And it talks about how a, how somebody, a Jew, was walking, um, walking down the road, let's say, walking down the pavement, and then he got attacked by um, some people, some mean people, he got attacked, and then he was left for dead. And three people um, walked, um, two people, sorry, walked past this man. First was the priest, walked past him, looked, saw that he was on the floor, and carried on walking. Now, a priest at that time would have been would have been had high respect. Um, people, a lot of people would have looked up to that person, they, and you and they would have thought that he would have stopped to help the man, but he didn't. The second person was a Levite, and again, he was a highly respectful person. Um, in those times, he looked at the man, carried on walking. Now, the Samaritan, who the Samaritans and and Jews, they had a bit of beef back then. They didn't really like each other, um, but. The Samaritan was the person who came, looked at the man, saw that he was in need, he helped him up, he got him to like the doctors, gave him a place to stay and paid for um, his hotel, his room um, for the night and said to the person, look, if I come back tomorrow, I'm going to come back tomorrow, see if he's okay and if I need to give more money um, so that he can get better, I will. So through this parable, Jesus showed us the importance of caring for others by showing respect um, for others even when it doesn't seem right because for a Samaritan to do that for a Jew it wouldn't have seemed right at the time but Jesus is t telling us through that story that it doesn't matter what people might say we still need to show respect now when I think of respect I always think of um, the song by Aretha Franklin you might not know who she is if you don't you need to know after this maybe at the end after school go on YouTube type in Aretha Franklin respect and in it um, it goes R-E-S-P-E-C-T spelling the name spelling the word respect and I thought you know what let me try and do an acronym I've never really been good at acronyms but let me try and do an acronym um, for the word respect so for R I've said responsibility we all have a responsibility um, to appreciate and to care for one another and to show respect to one another as a school and as a trust we have that responsibility E for empowered. I want people um, to be empowered to show, to give respect, to show respect, and with respect comes empowerment. S, I'm saying S is for self, and by self I mean self-respect is also incredibly important. It's good to respect others, but it's also good to respect yourself. Value yourself more. You are so, in God's eyes, you are um, a gr the greatest creation. You're, you're beautifully and wonderfully made. That's what the Bible says. So let's have self-respect for ourselves. P for positive. I want to be positive about this. this is a, I want people to be positive when they're giving, um, showing respect. E for equal. We're all created equal, regardless of how we look, regardless of our race, religion, um, our gender. Um, let's respect everybody, okay? It doesn't matter what um, what walks of life um, we have come from. We're all equal. We're all equally made. That's what it says in the Bible. And C is for choice. It's a choice um, to show respect. It's a choice to give respect, and I want you to make that right choice. And T is for trust. I'm trusting you um, from after this act of worship to show some um, show some respect to people, show some more respect. You might be giving um, respect to people and caring for people, um, but let's have some more of that. So in conclusion, R-E-S-P-C-T, find out what it means to me, respect, let's show some more love and respect. We're just going to close in prayer, so if you would like to, why don't you bow your head and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you that you created each of us and love us so, so much. Would you help us to have respect for those around us, whether it be our friends, family or teachers. Help us to treat them the way that uh, we would like to be treated ourselves and in a way that would honour you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen.